what is going on you guys thank you for tuning back into another video i got a really short one today just going to be going over um fl studio stock plugin vst um super underrated it's one of my favorite vsts it's one of the only ones that i actually use consistently and like i said it does come stock in fl you don't have to pay for it at all unless you want some downloadable packs but i didn't even use those um but before i do that i do want to say thank you guys for 100 subscribers ridiculous blow me away i did not expect to get like that many um I, I really was not thinking i'd get over what i had i had like 80 or something i was like damn man this is just gonna hang on forever here and i'm never gonna actually grow the channel but um it really means a lot to me um just to see the channel grow a little bit as i started putting up more videos and everything uh, i i really can't thank you guys enough for that so you know keep subscribing if you haven't already and give every video a big thumbs up i really appreciate it helps me out keeps me motivated to keep posting the videos when i see them actually getting views and whatnot but uh yeah let's go ahead and jump right into this um so like i said we'll be going over today we'll be going over flex some of you may have heard of it uh it's i think it came out you know i don't know when it came out definitely over the last year it's really taken off a little bit more um people kind of realized how good it was um like i said again it is a stock plug-in in FL Studio. So if you have purchased FL Studio within the last year or updated it, you will have this and you may have it, you know, in your um, plugin selection here, or you can always go to your um, main page here with all of them listed out. And mine's located right there. I don't know if yours is in the same spot. It is awesome, but yeah, there you go. Um, so super underrated VST. As you can see, there's a lot of different categories here, a um, lot of different sounds. We can click through, you know, you got strings, winds, um, a lot of uh, electronic type stuff. So a lot of synths, a lot, a lot of um, stuff, which I really like for pop music, particularly um, a lot of bass, a lot of really nice basses. Um, you know, it's got everything. And like I said, there are some um, different stuff you can download as far as, you know, paid packs. You can see right there the price form. They're not they're not expensive. I didn't do any of that. I'm not telling you guys to do that. You can if you want to. But there's definitely enough content. That you can get for free like what i did with all these packs um you should definitely check it out um so the main thing that i like about it is that you can kind of customize each sound to your own liking or whatever you're using it for you have all these this control section here which is really helpful and you can like i said just do whatever you want to it really um depending on the beat um and then it, once you add other plugins to it you know filter out some low end or high end or whatever you want to do to it. it it really it's a really versatile plugin which you know the name flex advanced simplicity there there you go that's all you need to know it's a really really good vst um so you may be wondering like what do you what do i look for when i'm looking for a good new vst if i want to buy it or if it's free or whatever um the main things i look for are a good sound library with quality sounds that's the biggest thing i want there to be enough sounds that it can actually sort through some of them they can be applied to a lot of variety, a different variety of genres, different types of beats, different um, you know, types of songs. Um, the other thing I look for is what do we have as far as downloadable content? Are there expandable packs? Can I go in and download more sounds that I might need? Or is it just, you know, this is what you get. Um, obviously, you're getting more value if it is a paid thing to where you have to have um, a certain number of sounds for whichever, whatever you're doing. If you have those options to download extra sounds later on after you purchase it, that's definitely a plus. Uh, the other thing is usability. Is it easy to use? And as we can see with Flex here, you know, you have these packs, literally just clicking through them. There's nothing advanced. You don't have to understand sound design to be able to click on some of these presets, you know. Obviously, once you get into it, you can adjust some stuff. But even then, it's not really sound design. That's just kind of them making it easy for us to tweak the sound to what we want it to be. Um, so yeah, that's really pretty much all I have as far as Flex. Um, like I said, it's a super, super good plugin, super underrated and super underused. If you have not um, used it or even looked at it since it came out, I definitely recommend it. Um, you know, like I showed you guys how to get it and pull it up on your uh, channel rack there. I definitely recommend it. Uh, I've used it in so many beats. That's one of the only only VSTs I use, to be honest. I use Analog Lab and Flex. Those are the main ones, and they pretty much have everything I need. Um, so definitely get on it if you haven't already. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much the end of the video. I just wanted to get into that and maybe help you guys out if you're looking for a quality VST for cheap, which is cheap because it's free, and we all love free, right? 
So go ahead and check that out. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video, which may be, might be Thursday. I'm trying to plan something for Thursday to kind of talk about, you know, general beat making stuff and maybe some of the producer community stuff um, that I've seen. Um, but yeah, and then of course we will have our beat breakdown on Friday uploaded as usual. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again for 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't yet. And hit the subscribe button. Y'all know where it's at. So do it, please. I beg you. Nah. Um, but for real though, I really appreciate you guys so much. I can't even thank you guys enough for, you know, motivating me to do stuff on YouTube and actually put content out. Um, feels like I'm actually doing something to push my push my channel and push my beats and stuff a little bit more. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you on the next video.